an achievement. Um, like in, in Silicon Valley terms, it's defining your BHAG, your big, hairy, audacious goal. <laughs> It's a goal that kind of makes you tingle, makes you think like, ooh, could I do that? That would be awesome. Can I? It would be awesome if I could do that. So really strive for the limit of what can I, what can I not do, and then do stuff that. Um, Maureen Nyhart, one of the uh, researchers in Gifted, um, especially towards the twice exceptional kids who are like broad, are not like uniformly developed, um, have some challenge with that, says what's important to add to that is high challenge, low threshold. Um, your kids are all brilliant at picking a really high challenge, but sometimes they pick one that is so high that they can never reach it. Or it's going to take weeks or months or years to reach that. So it's, it's okay to have a goal that's years away. But then make sure you have steps that are small enough to take right now. Cool, you know, you want to change the world, you want to land on the moon. Awesome. What are we going to do this week to make some movement towards that? because then I can do something about it. Because sitting here and thinking, what is gonna get me on the moon tomorrow? Nothing. And then I'm gonna be depressed. But if I'm gonna think like, what can I do right now? I could read a book about spaceships. That I could do, cool. Or I can make a mini rocket, or I could find out what fuel they're using, whatever. I can do a little thing that's gonna guide me in that direction. So this is a number of things you could do to add to well-being.